So, Dougal, if you had an unlimited budget, given your experience, what would you do if you had your own property and you were going through refurbishment? Brenda, you never have an unlimited budget. <laughs> I've, ne- I've, never, I've never worked for uh, myself or for anyone that has an unlimited budget. True, true. But I, th- I think the things, you know, for me uh, that I expect in a hotel, like I said, is a really comfortable bed. A yep. really a really quiet room and a great and you know and a great shower you know and then you know there's a really comfortable sofa do i like a bigger room yeah i'd love i'd, I'd love a bigger room because i'd like to not lie on the bed and watch television or anything yep. like that or watch a, a video and i think from for me now these days is you know is great furnishings a really comfortable a space that i feel really comfortable in straight away you know, one of the things that I find it really important is good carpet in a room because you you actually take your shoes off and you walk around in bare feet. Yep. And not many people think about the carpet, but and the underlay, it's really important because you spend most of the time in your room in bare feet. Very true. Uh, or, cer- or certainly I do. Yeah. Um, and I think it's really important. Like I said, a good shower and great internet and ease of you know, one click to cast on from your device onto a television rather than going through multiple different um, accesses uh, to try and get onto a television. To to me, that's the most frustrating thing uh, these days when I travel is that I've never seen to date a really simple casting solution for throwing a your Netflix uh, on your phone or on your computer up onto the up onto a screen. Interesting. Okay. They, it does exist. There are some solutions now that when you connect to the Wi-Fi, mm. they will automatically pair your phone to the TV in the room at the same time so that when you open Netflix, you have the casting icon and you can just cast yeah. straight away. Uh, and they will note that on the TV that, you know, yeah. your phone is automatically being paired when you're connected to the Wi-Fi. And that will become more common as well. There's only <clears throat> a couple of vendors that do that now. Yeah, so I'm 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 looking I'm looking forward to that uh, for sure. My life uh, at the moment is uh, is travelling pretty much every week for uh, properties we're doing uh, with Maryvale, both in Melbourne and down in Lawn, yeah, uh, on the Victorian coast. Uh, really, and both really exciting projects, but uh, it involves a lot of travel and involves uh, hotel time. And we haven't picked up on it, but one of the things that often we still struggle with is providing enough power for guests conveniently located yeah. and sometimes dedicated so i've i've been into properties it may even be a new build and they've put powerpoints beside the bed but then they realize that the the bedside lamp takes one of them and there might be even be another device that takes another yeah. one it's like okay so where's the one for the guest and it, and it may be that you know the guest has got a cpap machine or something and, and they literally need to actually have power beside yeah. the bed they, they can't get away with without it yeah i think it's really challenging and it really you know i think you know if you look at you know at the number of devices people travel with these days if i travel with my two um you know adult children between us so i have two we have two kids uh and my wife and myself i would typically travel with three devices my wife would definitely travel with three devices and my kids at least two yep uh so you know between four of us you know you've got you know 10 12 devices yep and they all need to be charged and of course you know the kids are the most important people they have to charge their stuff first and if there's a uh, you know there's no powerpoints in the room it's a disaster yep and it's a and it's a fight um <laughs> so <laughs> it's a fight it's a fight till the death um but i think it gets back to the prototype room again true you know and the location of all of the switches and also i think you know these days with the use of having usb charges beside the bed yep. as well you know that are a bed height and have the dedicated ones for bedside lamps and things what have you down on the floor so guests don't have access to those ones but they're just specifically for you know if hotels are still putting in a you know if you still choose to put in a bedside clock or anything like that, bedside lamp, and then obviously the phone yep. uh, as well. Uh, but then having probably, you know, probably a, a double PowerPoint on each side of the bed and having, you know, at least two plug-in USB uh, charging charging ports 
uh, on either side of the bed and then at the desk if there is one or somewhere else in the you know around the mini bar wherever else there is a flat surface yep. that you can charge that you can charge other things but you know you can never put in a, as uh, enough charging points these days i'd agree yeah 